Welcome to Citrix Tech Insights, where we provide an overview of Citrix technologies, features, and functions through detailed explanations and visual walkthroughs. In this Tech Insight video, the focus will be on the Citrix Terraform provider. HashiCorp Terraform is an infrastructure-as-code tool that lets you define cloud and on-premises resources in human-readable configuration files that you can version, reuse, and share. Terraform creates and manages resources on cloud platforms and other services through their APIs. Providers enable Terraform to work with virtually any platform or service with an accessible API. Terraform is declarative. It describes the end state of the infrastructure. You do not need to write step-by-step -step instructions. Using the Citrix Terraform provider, you can manage and deploy Citrix resources, including Citrix virtual apps and desktops and Citrix DAS solutions. You can automate the creation of a site setup that includes host connections, machine catalogs, and delivery groups. The resources can be deployed in Citrix-supported hypervisors and public clouds. Terraform generates a plan and prompts for approval before modifying the infrastructure. It keeps track of the infrastructure in a state file. Terraform uses the state file to determine the changes that match your configuration. Terraform supports reusable configuration components that define configurable collections of infrastructure, saving time and encouraging best practices. You can use publicly available modules from the Terraform registry or write your own. All relevant information, complete documentation, and some examples about Terraform and the Citrix provider can be found on GitHub. The link is provided at the end of this Tech Insight. More comprehensive automation guides can be found on Citrix Tech Zone. These currently include guides for using Terraform for DOS on vSphere, Amazon EC2, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. You can also find guides for using Terraform to deploy Citrix virtual apps and desktops on premises. Please check Citrix Tech Zone regularly as we continuously expand the automation section. This animation shows you the declarative nature of Terraform. All three automation toolkits shown here do the same, creating a machine catalog on Citrix DAS. Terraform syntax is easily understandable, easy to read, and easy to deploy. You tell the Terraform provider what you want and not how you achieve that. The provider knows what to do and the steps necessary to achieve the goal. Calling the REST API is also declarative, but the syntax is more complicated and you must follow strict formatting rules. Using PowerShell is not declarative. You must provide each step from the beginning to the end of creating a machine catalog. PowerShell is the most complicated but flexible way of automating the creation and deployment of Citrix components. Terraform can be installed most efficiently using the package manager Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a software management solution for creating and deploying a simple software package on a Windows machine. If you have ever used Yum or any package manager on Linux or Homebrew on a Mac, Chocolatey is the equivalent, a Windows package manager. After the installation of Chocolatey, the installation of Terraform is also straightforward. You can install Terraform by typing Chocolatey install Terraform in a PowerShell session with administrative rights. Typing Chocolatey upgrade Terraform upgrades the currently installed version to the last available version. You can use Terraform to create entities on Citrix DAS and Citrix virtual apps and desktops. You need different code syntaxes depending on the underlying infrastructure. For example, there are some slight configuration differences between the Terraform provider for DAS and virtual apps and desktops. Our Terraform guides in Citrix Tech Zone have all the details. Terraform scripts can be long, especially when you deploy complex entities like virtual machines, a hosting connection, a hosting connection pool, a machine catalog, and a delivery group in one Terraform script. Combining Terraform with other automation tools like PowerShell or REST API can bring in even more functionalities. Terraform can use WinRM to upload files, scripts, snippets, and other needed components to the target machine and run the uploaded components to do further configurations. In the upcoming demo video, we create a new Citrix DAS-based environment using Terraform in Microsoft Azure S West US region. Of course, the same functionality is also possible for deploying a Citrix virtual apps and desktops-based environment on-premise. Terraform will now create all needed entities like an Azure resource group, a blob storage, a Citrix cloud resource location, the cloud connector VMs, a hosting connection and hosting connection resources, a machine catalog, and a delivery group. On one half of the screen, you will see the running Terraform scripts, and on the other, the scripts affects the creation of the entities. Currently, no associated resource group in Azure and no associated resource location in Citrix cloud exists. Terraform creates a new resource group in Azure as the first step. Now Terraform creates a blob storage on Azure and uploads all needed software components, for example, the remote PowerShell kit, the cloud connector installer, the master image disk needed for creation of the machine catalog, and the PowerShell scripts needed for configuration. 
Now Terraform creates all further needed components in Azure, like the network interfaces, the subnets, the IP addresses, the virtual disks, the network security groups, and finally the cloud connector VMs. Terraform puts them into the domain, installs the cloud connector software, and registers the cloud connectors in the newly created resource location. In this example, Terraform creates 35 entities on Microsoft Azure. That takes quite a while. Finally, Terraform shows the successful creation after completion of the script. Terraform has successfully created the new resource location and the Cloud Connector VMs. These are successfully registered to Citrix Cloud. All prerequisites are set, so Terraform now creates the Citrix Cloud entities like the Hosting Connection and Hosting Connection resources, the Machine Catalog, and the Delivery Group. Currently, none of these exist. The Hosting Connection and the Hosting Connection resources are created. Terraform is deploying the Machine Catalog. Depending on the master image size and the number of machines to be created, it will take a while until the creation of the machine catalog finishes. The last Citrix Cloud entity Terraform needs to create is the delivery group. Terraform can also set the auto scale settings for the delivery group, which is highly recommended when using Microsoft Azure. The delivery group is ready and the worker VM is successfully registered. The environment is now successfully deployed and we can connect to the worker VM. The connection is fine and as you see, the VM is running in West US. To conclude, using Terraform with Citrix's own provider, you can manage your Citrix products via infrastructure as code, which increases efficiency and consistency in infrastructure management and improves reusability in infrastructure configuration. By combining Terraform with other automation toolkits like Ansible, Packer, PowerShell, or REST API, you can almost infinitely expand the possibilities of using infrastructure as code. Please visit Citrix Tech Zone and look at the automation articles. You will for sure want to take advantage of automation's many possibilities.